Hey guys, welcome to a new video. My name is Leila Sarah from Sierra Studio, where we're all about arts and crafts, and we are here to give you the tools and resources to learn, get inspired, and fire up your creativity. I hope you are doing well. In today's video, we will be drawing sharks. I'm fascinated by the ocean and everything related to it. Today I'm happy to bring you with five easy sketches of sharks I did for an illustration project. So grab your pencil and let's do this! If you want to draw a shark swimming away, start by sketching its caudal fin, the back tail. That's the main focal point of your subject. Then get onto the trunk and the head before you add all the fins and other details like the gill openings. It's a good idea to know your subject before you start sketching. Observe and locate where the different elements are and how they relate to each other. When I'm doing a subject study, like a shark here, I like to focus on the details to bring it to life. I don't want to crowd it with elements I'll have to erase later either. And that's why I don't typically draw guidelines and block of shapes to determine my proportions. I usually know roughly what elements goes where. And that's the drawing style I developed over time with practice. Although I have a different approach when it comes to scenes, where I want to convey like a specific mood and where the details don't matter as much. Guidelines and blocks of shapes come in handy when I need to draw accurately patterns, some objects and jewellery for example. Anyway, back to our shacks. I had enough room left on my page to quickly sketch a baby shark. I outlined the head on the foreground before tracing its main features, the nose, the deadly jaw lines, the eyes and the dorsal and pectoral fins to have a sense of its proportions. And I draw the trunk and the tail smaller, since they are in the background and further away from the head. Feel free to add in as much or as little detail as you want guys. I'm doing a study here so no need for too many details. I'll use the water reflection I've traced as a landmark if I want to paint it later. Thank you. 
I had to sketch at least one shark with wide open jaws. And I wanted to make him look old for some reason. In my imagination, old sharks look a bit worn out, with their body gone a bit floppy with age. A bit like us, really. The trunk is a bit bigger than the head, and I'm also giving him a slightly disproportionate body, with a droopy skin by going over the outline several times. Another tip guys, you can also give your shark a toothless smile to suggest he's old. I go over the same process to draw the last two sharks, which look a bit of a mummy and daddy really. I didn't want to go for like two scary looking sharks in this particular project. I represent this one making a sharp turn, 
as if it is chasing its prey. The trunk and the tail are almost, but not quite, on the same plan as the head in the foreground, and it's looking very hungry. And here is a side view of our last shark, just cruising along, still looking a bit hungry. I've recycled the makeup powder brush to brush away the eraser crumbs. I don't like using my hand for that to avoid smudging. And there you have five easy sketches of sharks to inspire your next creative project. I hope you liked watching this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Leila Serra from Sierra Studio. I post weekly videos on art and crafts and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, go create something awesome. Bye guys. Bye.